What's up guys, Mike and Chris here from Terrestrial Imaging, and today we're going to be talking about the H520. So if you've been tracking the launch of the H520, you may have heard of different bundles available that include various accessories, including a hard case. So I'm here to tell you today that those bundles, there seems to be no plan of shipping them anytime soon. So the only way to get the H520 at the moment is the base unit. And now, for those of you who are looking for a carrying case option for the H520, you've come to the right video. So throughout this video, we're going to be showing you the different carrying case options that you have, and we'll be talking about each of them separately. So when we first got the H520 and took it out of the box and compared it to the Typhoon H480, one of the first things we noticed is that there's really only two main physical differences and that's the length of the arms and then the size of the motors. If you look at the rest of it, they're the same width both ways, same height, and the bodies are even the same size. So what we decided to do is actually take the H520 and test it in three different backpacks designed for the Typhoon H, and we found that with each foam insert and with each backpack, the H520 fits perfectly. So what we'll do is take each of the three backpacks that we have and show you just how the H520 fits in each of those. So over here I have a Typhoon H backpack designed for the new small foam inserts for the newer models of the Typhoon H. Now this is what the foam insert looks like. You'll see it's small and it's that square foam factor. And now Mike if you wouldn't mind opening up the 520 box and showing us the foam that comes with that. So as you see in here you have a foam insert that's very similar to that one and really it's the same size it looks like. Yeah so if you look at the two you pretty much have it's not an identical cutout, but it is very similar in size. So what we're going to do is now take the H520 foam out, and we're going to show you just that, or sorry, just how this is compatible with the Typhoon H backpack. So as you'll see, I got the new small form factor foam that was with the 520 to fit into the Typhoon H backpack. Again, it is a little tight, but that's because the backpack is designed to be snug around the foam. And again, this is the form factor foam that was designed for the backpack, which is super similar to the 520, and it fits just perfect. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take everything in here and put it in the larger foam that came with the older Typhoon H's and show you the two different backpacks we have for those. Now Chris is going to take the contents of that backpack and put them into here, but note that he will not change the foam because this already has that larger foam in it. Now to be clear, once you buy this case, it will not come with the foam. If you already own an older version of the Typhoon H, then you will use your foam insert, put it into this case, and you'll be able to transfer your 520. Now there are some differences between the two foams, and you'll see that once we take this stuff out, the H does fit in perfectly, or rather the H520 fits in perfectly, but the one difference, or rather the one main difference, is that in order to put in the controller, you will have to unscrew this little mushroom antenna. Now when you take it off, it's up to you to decide where you want to put it, there's a little spot in the case, but you will now be able to fit in the controller. The controller does go in upside down, and it slides in nicely. Now the one benefit to having the bigger foam compared to the smaller foam is that there are more battery inserts in this case and you will not have to remove the batteries prior to taking the drone out. Now you'll see there's also a spot for the charger, but when it comes to the accessories in this little accessories pack, I'm not going to take them out and put them in here, but it's up to you to decide where you want to place those. So there you have it guys, if a carrying case is slowing down your decision on the H520, wait no longer as there are three different options that we have for you at Terrestrial Imaging. Now again, if you guys are interested in any of these backpacks, do know that they do not come with a foam insert. If you are buying the H520, you will have the small form factor foam that will fit perfectly in the backpack over here that we showed at the beginning. But if you already have an H, or rather one of the original models of the H that come with the bigger oval foam that we showed inserting into the hard case backpack, then you will be able to use that foam for the hard case backpack or the soft case backpack designed for that bigger foam. Again though, none of these backpacks will come with foam. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed our video. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. 
Don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you guys want, you can follow us on Facebook at our Terrestrial Imaging Facebook site or at one of our sponsored sites, Med for Multi Rotors. Or visit us on the web at www.terrestrialimaging.com.